All right, a barber. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Icewind Dale, where we are in Lonely Wood, just starting Heart of Winter, and there may be a possible fix for this. I've been chatting with uh, a fella on Steam, and hopefully I'll be able to get rid of this ready for next episode. So we shall see what happens. I've tried a couple of things and they haven't worked, but there's a few more things to try. So, But until then, let us continue on. Oh, look, we've got the bar. Uh, did we go to the ranger's cabin? We've been to the Shrine of Joaquin. I'm assuming we've been in the ranger's cabin. I don't think there was anything in there. Was there, was there stuff for sale? Which I couldn't afford. I bought a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, arrows, didn't I? So yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's check out the bar. And we've got to go and get a rope to get the little boy out of the well as well. Who's probably died it. Oh, hello. Surely your innards must be picked by now. Pickled by now. Stupid time on answer. Oh, bloody hell, they're talking like there's no end. Right, who have we got? Roll, rolled Tunnel Fist. Hobart Stubbled Holes. Murdoch. I'm assuming that's not Murdoch from the 18. <coughs> Kieran Nye. And some Stairsies. <gasps> But I'm afraid a broken heart is all I can give you at the moment. Oh, Autolycus. I'm not just leering at let's just, fed women, you know. I'm working. Let's just head up a little bit. And uh, hide in I some shadows. So. I'm not as dumb as he looks. And let's see what's going on. Anyone in in here? No. Anyone in in here? No. Oh, something to take. Let's have a little look. We'll just send Autolycus on a little hunting mission. Just in case. There's always something nice in the pub or the inn. Uh, nothing here. Uh, nothing here. Let's try this one. Uh, oh, yes, something here. Let's have a little nosy. Uh, let's check for trapsies. I didn't do that just now. It's a good job I didn't blow up. I'm going to go with no trapsies. One gold piece. Uh, right, what about here? <gasps> Big chest of stuff. Do, 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 checking for trapses, checking for trapses. I see no trapses. Let's open it. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing. All right, what about this way? Oh, a wardrobe. Let's not check for traps. Oh, it is locked. Right, let's check for traps. Detecting traps. Three, four, five, six. No traps detected. Okay, right. Thief skills. What have we got? What is this potion? What have we picked up? We've got a rogue stone. Uh, rogue stones are extremely rare and are used for the gem jump spell. Hence, they are one of the most sought after gems in the realms. <gasps> Might be worth a bit of cash. Uh, oil of speed. Uh... Attack once, attacks twice. This does not reduce the duration Is if the effect is one hour. I've got a feeling, because this is a weird-looking potion of speed. Uh, that's what they should look like. Look, oil of speed. Oil of speed. Little white bottle. Multicoloured bottle. I believe this has side effects that we probably don't really want to play with. Possibly. Oh, and another wardrobe. Are we going to get caught? Is the barman downstairs going to be like, You've been through... Ooh, mage robes for, uh, for Ares. You've been through all my stuff. I'm going to bloody get you, you dirty buggers. All right, well, that's upstairs checked out. Nice. Always good to do a little upstairs hunting. Not just leering at scantily Let's get this over with. Right. Uh, I said it was cunning. I didn't say I liked it. Let's uh, let's give them to Gabrielle. I'm not sure about this potion of speed, but we'll chuck it Zena's direction. Right, Gabby. 
Translocation arrows. Uh, yes, on a successful hit, the user is transported next to the target. We probably don't want to use those. But uh, we might need to at some point. There might be a reason for it. And what about these mage robes? Traveler's robe. Plus one versus missile attacks. Which I don't believe is any good for Ares. Because he's got fancy robes. Robes of the Watcher. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Magic resistant. Non-detectable by magical means. Such as the blah, blah, blah. immunity to Umberhawk gaze. But he's got armor class 3 with it, which is kind of good. Right, so... Have we picked up a bag of holding? I don't think we have, have we? No, Gabby used to have the bag of holding. Uh, but now we are holding free. Uh, where have I just put them robes? There they are. Alright, Autolycus can keep hold of them for now. Not that they're any use to him. Um... Autolycus. You're trying to use my ego against me. I didn't think it would work. No, it worked. I'll do it. Uh, what else have we got down here? What was that? That sounded like some sort of spell. What have we got in here? This is the kitchen? No. This is the meat storage room, the pantry. Okay. Anything this side? What have we got? Oh, there's a portal. This is interesting. All right, okay. Let's just check for trapsies. Oh, we might have to do a quick save before we go through there. I wonder if that just leads into here. Don't know. But that's locked. There's no one here. I probably should shut the door, but never mind. Oh! Fancy robes. Okay, right. Let us do a quick save. Yeah, close that. Close that. Quick save. Where does this... Oh, hello. Hello indeed. Various reagents and bits of arcane lore clutter the... Clutter the clutterness. Okay. Oh, and a spell. Nice. Atop this small pedestal rests a solid globe of crystal. A strange bluish, bluish glow radiates from the globe Ooh. interesting right back to the party we've uh, found a couple of other little items that there and that there what have we got seven eyes this spell conjures forth seven magical orbs that float in a ring above the caster's head in what level is this level seven each eye has a defensive and offensive capability, though once either one is used, the eye will lose its power. The powers of each eye are described below. Ooh, Eye of the Mind protects the caster against mental attacks. Okay. Or we can use one as a charm person spell. Okay. Eyes of the Sword deflects the first physical damaging attack. Or we can use it as a magic missile. An Eye of the Mage absorbs one manifestation of fire, electrical, cold, or acid damage, or can use a lightning bolt. Uh, this protects from poison, uh, or uses as poison. Uh, instant death magic spell, uh, or we can rave enfeeblement. Fortitude blocks various other things and does shout. Deafness, blindness, or silence. Okay, an eye of stone. A single petrification attack. That's quite useful. We're probably never going to use it, but uh, not to worry. Right, what have we got here? Robe of the Neutral Archmagi. So, I don't think Ares can use it. Uh, not usable by. What they should have put on there was usable by. It would have been a shorter list. But yeah, any good or any evil. I'm a class 5. It's not as good as what we've got anyway. So, uh, Autolycus can get caught carrying a couple of stolen mage robes around as well then. Right. Want some company? Let us have a little chat with some folks. And see what's good going idea. on here. What you be wanting, stranger? Can't you see I be into me cups? Who are you? I be Ro Roll Tunnel Fist of Clan Batlammer. And who do I have the pleasure of being pestered by? 
I'm Xena Rold. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aye, a pleasure it is to meet new friends. Now speak your mind. What you be wanting? You've been seeing battle. I was about a week, about a week hence. Know ye of the barbarian camp east of here? Yes, I've heard the barbarians have gathered nearby. Well, me and me fellows were sent by the clan to scout the camp. Damn savages spotted us and set it on us like a pack of dogs. We were backed against a bluff with nowhere to run. We knew we were trapped, so we had at them. If we were to die, we were not to die alone. All me fellows felt those savages' blades. I knew me time had come and I steadied myself for their blows. Sudden light, this deep voice booms out and they steps back. A giant of a man comes forward and glares at me. Must have been seven feet tall and he were wearing the marking of a king. Carried a double-bladed axe bigger than myself. Oh my word, what happened next? He raises his axe and swings at me. Almost at me too. He was so fast with the blade. I barely raised me shield in time to block the blow. Last thing I remember was me shield shattering and me falling from the bluff. I woke up in a pile of broken branches in the trees below. They must have broken me fall. I bandaged myself up and limped into town. Been here ever since. So, uh, you got any more info about the Barbies? Not a thing. Me and me fellows never made it to the camp proper. Plenty of guards alert, on alert a well. I don't know how to speak no more. And what do you intend to do next? Get drunk, I guess. As soon as I be fit to travel, I report back to the clan. It be up to the clan elders what course to take next. Until then, I be mourning the loss of me fellows. Fair enough, fella, me lad. What about you, young elven, possibly lady? Mm, who are you? <laughs> by the gods, by the gods, that is a uh, typical Xena thing. Let's do that one. Uh, the smell of wine is strong about you, woman. Let your drink rest for a bit and tell me your name. Ambier Dunn. Just Ambier will do. How did you get here? Are you here with one of the caravans? Haley's mother. Ah, Haley Dunn. Ah, you're Haley's mother. Haley, that thrice damned girl, can't a day go by without the brat getting herself into trouble? Entirely too much of her idiot father in her. I met Haley by the town well. Your son is trapped inside the well and needs your help. Thrice damned. Oh, let's get a bit of info out of her first. Haley is your daughter, isn't she? Not mine. I may have birthed her, but I'll have nothing to do with her or her idiot father. By the hells, how did we even start talking about this? Oh, you want to tell her her son's in the well. Maybe we'll have to go back through the, the dialogue tree. Let's discuss it no longer. The barbarian threat. Ah, uh, what threat? There's no threat. The worst that could happen is the Northmen could burn this wretched little town to the ground. Best thing that could happen to the place, if you ask me. You would be pleased if this town, your home, burned to the ground? Pleased? Nay, blessed. For there would be nothing trapping us, any of us here. Indeed, if the barbarians, if barbarians attacked, they would butcher everyone in this town, including your family. My family? We are already dead. Another death will not matter now. Will not matter now. Enough of this talk of barbarians in this damn town. If you won't have a drink, then leave me to mine. Right. Your son is trapped inside the well. Oh, my son? Ha! Fell hard for one of her little lies, did you? Lies? What do you mean? Uh, send him off in a panic. We should go back and have some words with Haley. Lies. I have no son, yet the brat will tell every traveller who steps into Lonely Wood her brother's fallen in the well, just to put the fear into them. Well, we weren't scared. We were just like, well, let's go and get a rope after we've gone shopping and had a look around the town and possibly gone after some barbarians. Uh... So, sounds like Haley could use a mother's hand to guide her away from such things. Not mine, I may have birthed her, blah 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 blah. How long have you been drinking? Not long. I was just nursing this until you came in the door. Would you care for some? I think there's more stored in one of the upper rooms. Uh, no, we're alright. Cheers, love. Thank you very much. What about this little fella here? Uh, excuse me, Hobart Stubble Toes. I won't edit out the burps. Because I'm a dirty bastard. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to wonder if I had the right place. Hail, well met, and all that rubbish. That's the sort of thing I do. I don't do small talk. Their name's Stubbletoes. Hobart Stubbletoes. 
And unless I'm mistaken, you must be the legendary heroes of Icewind Dale. Oh yes, we are, said Autolycus. I've come a long way to find you. If you are in fact heroes, then I'm sure you'd be interested in undertaking a dangerous yet potentially rewarding mission. That is, after all, the sort of thing you heroes do, right? Yeah, sure, why not? There's a ruined castle I know of, not far from here. Men whisper that great treasure waits inside, guarded by fell beasts and devious traps. All who have entered have, well, died. That's a very original story, friend. I suppose it's haunted, too. Think you're so smart, do you? Well, there's reason you always hear stories like this. Because they're true. People say the kind. People say the castle just whoosh sucks people right in. They never come out again. And uh, where is this castle? I can't tell you. I can show you though. Listen, if you come with me, you can see for yourself. Make some money, save a few people from an awful fate, and maybe some washed-up bard will write a pretty song about it. What do you say? Well, all right, we'll accompany you. Wonderful, I'll take you there right away. Uh, I didn't want to go right now. But it looks like we're going. Bugger. Oh, well. Never mind. Teleport without error, look. See, I told you it wasn't that far. <laughs> now, eh? Timora's stinking luck to you and all that. What? Where in Faron are we? We're in Anorok. It's a desert. There you go. Happy. Now get on with the heroics. I need to rest these old bones. What happened before? Uh, teleport went out. Where, where are the harpies? Harpies? Okay, there's some harpy fighting going on. Uh, what have you done, Hobart? Sigh, you wanted to come here, right? You accepted the challenge, yes? Well, here it is. Enjoy. Wait. Bah, awkward. Oh, buggering bugger. Right, we got a couple of harpies. That should not be a problem. Xena. Xena, Xena, Xena. Right, let's have a look at what sword you've got equipped. Uh, I don't know if I've got plus five hit points. Plus one within the dragon's flight. I don't. I, I, uh, Thaco is four. Thaco is 5, Thaco is 3, alright, what's this one? Just a D4, that's a two-hander, and this is just a plus 1, okay, alright. Now, can we deal with some harpies, becomes right, the question. Me. Right, like you go there. This little baby is destined to become the center of my constellation. And uh, Dighty... What have you got? Greater Command. I don't think we need to worry about that yet. Protection from evil. Defensive Harmony. That'll help. Chuck one of them out. Your former mentor and still greatest fan. At your service. And Ares. Let's get the minor spell sequencer off on that one. You know, it's not polite to interrupt a bard when she's relating a heroic tale. Thanks, Gabby. Right. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby can... Do, 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 do. Uh, Gabby can buff as well, because there might be more coming, for all I know. Uh, Jock, sir? Come on, talk to me. I'm listening, but I'm Jock, not sir. Jock, sir, Jock, sir, Jock, sir, Jock, sir, can go for... Go for this one. Hmm... And then uh, now it's Autolycus even, Joxer, and now Joxer, Joxer the Mighty, can go for that one. Right, let's see what happens. Go, go, go! Oh, there's another one over there. That's fine. Right, what's happened? Uh, Joxer, blah, 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 blah. Joxer hits with a natural 20. And the Harpy takes five points of damage from the Wyvern. What Wyvern? And a harpy takes 28 missile damage from Joxer. Defensive harmony kicks in. And so. You don't have the thrust. Dighty. Can. Right 
Death Ward. What does Death Ward do? Remind me. That's slow poison, isn't it? Uh, dighty, dighty, dighty. Get a bless out. Do that. Let's do a bless. Right. Let's go. Something else happened. Uh, Harpy took damage from Autolycus. Ares minor spell sequencer went off. So let's try. Do we want to do a death spell? What about hold monster? Hold monster on you because you're out of the way of combat at the minute. We're coming down here and we're going up there. Alright, next. Alright, what happened here? Uh, Taxina. Joxer hits again. Two natural 20s. Come on, Joxer, you beauty. Right, how is it doing? Badly injured. That is fine. And a harpy takes 14 piercing damage from a wyvern. You're barely injured. I just want a quick look at the map. It's not a massive map, though. Oh, it's quite a big map. Okay, all right. Where in the world are we? That's not the button we wanted. We're apparently we're still in Lonelywood. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, next. All right, Gabby cast a spell. Gabby cast hope. All artists suffer for their art. And now Gabby can cast courage. Boom. Right, let's just have a nosy. Has it kicked in on anyone? No. Does it just affect you, Gabby? I don't know. No, there we go. Right. Harpy's taking damage from the Wyverns. Uh, Joxa hit with a 9, so that's good. Harpy took damage from Xena. And Joxa. Okay, we are looking good. We are looking rather good. Badly injured. Come on, my friends. And again. Oh, it's right up on Joxa's butt. Gabby is stunned. Uh, Harpy died. Which Harpy? Harpy? Oh, you cast death? Is that what it was? Harpy? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Xena saved. Joxer didn't. But Gabby is stunned. Gabby is panicking. Okay, that's fine. I think Dighty has got stuff to get rid of that. Ares. Ares, what can you do? I think you you might have to cone of cold on this one, seeing as you've got the right angle at the moment. Did that? No. Oh, look, that didn't work. Uh, Jocks has been hit, has he? Love this song. Anyway, who else needs to do stuff? She's panicked. Joxa hits with a seven. Come on, Ares. Ah, oh, it's Autolycus we've lost. It's Autolycus we've lost. Ah, oh, Xena, you might have to make a move. No, Joxa, keep going there. Let's get this out. Xena. Drink a potion of speed. Right, Xena. Get over there. Because Ares is going to start casting. Harpy died. Nice. Joxer. Get on these guys. Can we... Can we Acid Arrow? Will that make a difference? I hope that will make a difference. I think there's about three Joxer the Mighty Songs in this. So uh, be warned, people. Be warned. Uh, we've lost... Two of them. Okay, we're all right. Come on. Come on, Xena. Bloody hell, there's a few of them. There's another one coming in. All right, who's taking damage? Anyone? No. The Wyvern has been hit. Come on. Cone of cold. Come on, Ares. Uh, Dighty's cast a bless. Big mistake. You're never getting that smell off your hands now. Uh, right. I need to clear your minds. What was exaltation? Someone remind me what exaltation does. 
Uh, to protect, removes the effects of fear, sleep, feeble-mindedness, unconsciousness, and intoxication. That is not the one we need. We want to get rid of... We want to get rid of... What do we want to get rid of? Stun and panic. I don't think we can get rid of them, but not to worry. Not to worry. Little right, Dicey. You'll just have to get in and hit stuff for a minute. Let's go. Alright. They're all gathered round. Oh, and there's one over there. Oh, he died. That's fine. Autolycus is taking damage. Is poisoned. Alright, we'll have to do something about that. We'll have to see how quick his hit points go down. 64... Uh, as Ares been hit? Ares is held, I think. Ares is stunned. Okay. So who have we Run got? Joxer, Aphrodite, and Xena. Okay. And uh, did Xena just kill something? No, Joxer did. That's fine. Right. You are injured. You are uninjured. And you're uninjured. We're going to have to go for you because you're attacking Jortolicus. Like Come on. Alright. Target gone. Next. Now, those acid arrows are really dealing some damage. Right. What I will do now is switch back to normal arrows. Oh, did someone die? Oh. That was quick, Autolycus. Bloody hell, I wouldn't have got the spell off in time anyway. Alright, we'll pick you up in a minute. We've got a uh, raised dead, it's fine. Excellent. You ready to go? Who's next? We're doing alright. We're not doing brilliantly, but we're doing alright. There we go, target gone. Did they drop anything? Let's get, let's get, Auto let's get, let's get ready to Here rumble. Oh, you just hit us with a cone of cold, you bastard. Right. Dighty. Get uh, Autolycus back on his feet. There we go. My reputation as the king of thieves is not going to be restored if you sling that chakram around and poke people with swords. Okay. Let's grab this lot back. Beautiful. Let's uh, kit you up. Those were boots of speed, weren't they? Yeah. Has it slightly changed? Uh, don't know. I think they were just... It didn't give that much info before, I don't think. But what do I know? Uh, Thacko plus one and hide in shadows helps. Okay. What? 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 Magical weapon in use. What magical weapon? I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's because you haven't fully resurrected yet, have you? We've got to wait for the animation. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. That's better. Shut up. Don't you wibbly wibbly on me. Alright. You got like two arrows off, fella. Next time, I gotta remember to stone form you as well. Uh, that there, and that there. Right, you are back. Dighty. Dighty, just do a full heal. Boom. Nice. And have you got any little heals? Uh, what's that? Nope. Cure disease. No, nope, you got no little heals. Okay, that's fine. We'll not worry about that for now, then. I said it was cunning. I didn't say I liked it. Right. Now, what we should do is have a little look around. This crumbling structure houses the machinery that raises and lowers the main gate. The machinery appears to be badly rusted and broken beyond repair. What we should do is have a little look around before we head in and go after that little fella 
who wants to kill us, basically. Uh, it doesn't have a point on it. That's fine. So, Let's get this over with. what we will do is pause it there, and we will continue this next time. And uh, we'll go and kick some more Harpy Butt and possibly Wyvern Butt as well. So, until next time, folks, bye-bye for now.